here's how I built the camera stand. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. Now in my last video, we talked about my experience scanning film and what I'm hoping to produce. Let's go over and look at what I produced for a camera stand or a copy stand for this film scanning rig. Let's take a look at my screen real quick. All right, so this is the company I found, or the website I found to help me build my camera stand or my copy stand. Um, I believe it's pronounced Vention, like Invention. So what I did is I, uh, if I create a login here, uh, log in, um, and I go to, let's see, my dashboard. I've created this, uh, I call it the camera scanning rig. Now, here's a video of that process. Now, with the Vention website, you can use something called the Machine Builder. It's basically CAD software. You can select different types of extruded T-slotted aluminum and build basically whatever you want. So here I am just starting to build the base of the rig. So I'm going to attach kind of create this uh, U-shape um, for the base of my rig. And now here's a vertical support column for uh, my actual camera. You're gonna have to be patient with me on this. I'm not very good at CAD software. And this is my first time using their uh, machine builder, but it does, I'm actually really impressed. This is all online. This is all from their website. Um, so I'm using this software online, building this rig. Now I'm gonna need some supports for that, uh, for vertical stability. You can see there, I'm adding that to that vertical column. And then um, I'm gonna add some caps to the end here. You see the ends of each of those pieces of aluminum. I'm gonna add some rubberized feet um, to the bottom of the stand just to make it a little bit more stable, maybe absorb some vibrations if there's any. Um, and then the one difficult part I had, I was trying to figure out how to attach my camera. So I came up with a solution. So here, if you look at my camera scanning rig, the final setup I have, I have this plate that's attached with these two um, kind of hand cranks. All right, so that's the Vention website. That's the website I use to build the scanning rig. I've ordered it and it's actually arrived, so we're gonna open it. But I just wanted to say that I was really impressed with this website. I'll put a link to it below. Maybe even a link to my public design on there, the scanning rig. Now, it was fairly expensive. If you notice, it was a little bit over $200 to build the rig. But what came with that design was they actually had one of their engineers, I guess it's a structural engineer, that reviewed the design, what it's gonna be used for, and gave me the green light that it's actually gonna function appropriately. So I was really impressed with what Vention provides. And to be honest, this is probably one of the smaller scale projects that they've seen on their site, I imagine. But yet they still had an engineer take a look at it for me. So check out their website and check out my design. Anyways, the actual shipment is here. So let's take a look at it. So it looks like it says Montreal. Yeah, so Canada, I was right. It's a Canadian company. So let's take a look here. This is some heavy duty packaging. This is uh, pretty exceptional here. I don't know how it's gonna open. So let's try. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> wow, really heavy duty. So let's do a time lapse of me opening this, should we? All right, everything's unpacked. So um, one thing I will say, it's pretty impressive, the color blue. Um, if you notice on that CAD layout, the software I was using, the pieces of aluminum were blue. I think it's part of maybe their branding or whatnot, but it's a really beautiful color. And the blue is really nice. I'm really actually really impressed by it. I was kind of worried about it, but it actually looks really good. So it looks like I have these uh, two shorter um, pieces here um, that are going to be part of the legs. Um, this is what the vertical piece attaches to. And then that vertical piece goes like this, right here down the middle. Now, there is one thing um, that I did notice about this, uh, the packaging, the original pack. Um, they actually provide you with um, the equipment to tap um, parts of this aluminum. So I can actually, I actually need to tap in here to create holes for the screws to attach. 
um, which is pretty impressive, I think. It's pretty cool, it's pretty neat that they provided all the uh, equipment you need for that. Here's actually the drill bit. So I'm actually gonna have to drill to create holes for these screws to mount that vertical column. So anyways, let's do another time lapse of that, shall we? All right, that's everything laid out. Now I just need to drill those holes and put everything together. I will say this on the Vention website, uh, when you design something like this rig, uh, whatever you design, you can actually produce, auto produce a set of PDF instructions on how to assemble all of this, no matter what you design. It's pretty impressive. So I'll take a look at those and start putting this together. All right, so it's built. Um, I'm really happy with how it worked out. It's fairly easy. The tapping was the most difficult part, so to use some oil, but it worked out okay. Really happy with the design, how everything worked out. That website, Vention, I can't um, recommend them more than this. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful rig. Uh, so 19 inches here across, about 30 inch, 30 inch height. Um, so that should give me plenty of height to be able to do anything from 35 millimeter all the way up to eight by tens. Um, I'll have to move the negative around a bit, but that should give me plenty of clearance. But also, I can just order another one of these vertical arms to make it go a little higher, maybe a little extension there. But can't recommend Vention enough. Uh, great website. Awesome that the engineers take a look at your design. Um, but check out the link below for that website for this uh, actual rig to go take a look at the design. 
If you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, please subscribe to the channel so that you can follow along. I think next time we'll be going over what am I going to use for a light source. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And it looks like Montreal, Canada. Montre Montreal, Montreal, Montreal. I know I'm not saying that right. <laughs>